Jorge, um, yeah. how are you doing? Good, yeah. <laughs> fine, too, fine, too. Um, your aunt, she gave you your first guitar. Yeah, what sort she gave of music? Me my first lessons. First lesson. What yeah. what what uh, what sort of music did she play herself? She's a musician and yeah. she plays a uh, the fagot. Yeah, okay. And and she plays guitar as well. Yeah, it's more of a bit of maybe more makes a little bit more of classic background. Oh so yeah. And why did she decide to give you your first lessons and your first guitar? I asked her like, well, my, my first guitar was my parents, like oh, they gave it to me, and then uh, but then when I when I was five. And I knew she, she would play, and I would, I would liked it, and I, would, I was like, can you teach me? And she was like, yeah, all right. She teach me for, for some time, then I was too young, so I was like, yeah, I'm tired. And then, you know, kept getting myself distracted with other stuff. And then when I was 12, I just got back to it. Okay, what, what sort of lessons did she give you? She was showing me, like, some songs and stuff. Like, I mean, I was just five, so yeah. too little. So it was, like, teaching me how to strum the guitar yeah. and how to do it, like, yeah. And any 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 specific songs that you were in, interested in when you were five, because you asked her? I don't know. I mean, she didn't teach me nothing too complicated right away because, yeah. like, I mean, I was super young and it was nothing super crazy complicated. It was like some kid song back yeah. then. Yeah. Okay. And then, did you actually when did you actually start listening to music yourself? I mean, paying attention to the songs you were listening on radio. I've, I've always loved music since I since I have memory. You know, I used to sing for myself at home, and I remember I used to love like whatever my parents used to listen to. I remember my my mom's fav one of my mom's favorite favorite songs of all time was uh, "Take on Me." Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. From Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. From yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, I think it was 1986. Mm -hmm. I think I, I think that w what did she like about the song? Did she tell you? She loves the song. She used, like heard the video. She was like super like she loves the video. How she gets into the like all the this like drawn like uh, world, you know? And yeah. yeah. Okay. And then when you were twelve, you said you 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 started again. Um, yeah. What triggered you when you were twelve to actually start start again? I don't know. I mean. I always loved it, and then I was just like, it was a guitar, I think, the mm. thing that started, like, they yeah. knew I loved it so much, they gave me the guitar, and then I was like, all right, I want lessons. Yeah. So I started, like, looking for, t trying different teachers and that stuff, so since then I just kept going. And what was the first song you could play? First song I could play, I don't know. I learned a couple of them, I learned, um, Nothing Else Matters, uh, I learned, uh, what else, Dust in the Wind, all those kind of songs, like, in those times were like the ones that, if you got a guitar, everybody starts with those kind of songs. And were you also ma uh, messing around maybe with your own own, own stuff, lyrics or, or songs? Yeah, yeah, I did, I, I, I wrote a couple of things of myself, you know, yeah. in English and Spanish, just trying yeah. to see what come, came up. Do you, do you still have them? Yeah, I mean, I never recorded them. I mean, yeah. I just wrote them somewhere, and, but never, never recorded anything or whatever. Just, okay. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, obviously, you're also known for being an actor. Mm -hmm. um, if you, if you have to, well, when, when did you switch or switch? When did you actually get to to more to, to acting? Yeah, more to acting. Well, I, I mean, I, I've always been a big fan of movies, always. And when I was a kid, I always thought like, ah, it'd be cool to move, do a movie one day. You never know, like, just be cool to do that. And then it all just started when I saw, because uh, one of the first projects I ever did was something about, well, it was a high school musical um, reality show in Mexico. And when I saw the, the original movie from, from, from the US, I was like, yeah, that's kind of cool because they have like everything in the same place, you know, dancing, acting, and singing. I was like, yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of dope. So the audition came up, and I was like, all right, I'll just go and try. I was not as much, like, the only like experience I had it was just singing by myself at home, yeah. and that's it. Nothing else, nothing else, other compared with either dancing or acting, not much. And I got in, and I was like, all right, how come? What did they say to you? Why did you get in? 
I don't know. I mean, you never know why you get picked in those things, you know? Because you never know what they're looking for. Of course, there was like probably tons of people with way better voice, way better dancers, way better actors. You never know what was the... Who knows? Who knows what exactly they were looking maybe, for? Maybe, maybe they told you, but they didn't. No, no. What? Maybe they told you why they picked you, but they didn't. They, they didn't. I mean, no, they didn't tell you the, the exact reason. They were like, you're in. And I'm, you're like, all right. Actually, they told me I was not in because there was another Jorge, another Jorge in the group. So they, they split the boys and girls. And then they, when they called me, they were like, Jorge. And I was like, yeah. They were like, I'm sorry, you didn't make it. And I was like, all right, whatever. Next time, I mean, it's just an addition. I already had to know before I did it. So, so I was outside. Like They made us wait in some part of the building outside because the parents were waiting outside, like all the way out of the building. So we couldn't go there because then they would all know what, who yeah. got in, who didn't. So they got us like hidden in some part with this other guy that didn't make it. He was like crying and I was like, it's okay, man. He's yeah. like, we'll get another chance, blah, blah, blah. After a while, someone came out and they were like, hey, come, hey, we, we need you to come back in. And I was like, all right. And I was like, see you, at, see you in a bit. So I got in, they put me like behind the judges area and I was like, what's going on? So they, they called me back in. I got back in and they were like, we're so sorry, we, we, we did, we messed up, we, we, it was a mistake, you're in. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So I was already resignated. I was like, yeah, whatever, I'll try it some other time. But in hindsight, how important was it for you that you got in? It was huge, I mean, it was a big thing for me. I didn't, I never, I don't know, I just went to the, the audition just because, you know, because I was like, I got nothing to lose, I'll just go and try, whatever, I'll have fun. And then I got in and I was like, all right, let's do it. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna do my best, put my, all my energy into it. And the more I kept doing it in, in, like in that reality show and everything, the more I was sure I wanted to do this, you know? Why, how come, why, why, why are you were more, more sure? What, what happened? Because I just kept falling in love more and more of it, you know? I was like every, every weekend on, on stage, you know, being, doing a show in the reality show, which is with real audience and just going there, having the adrenaline, I, I was like, I love this. I, I just love doing this. Like, I wouldn't mind doing it for the rest of my life. So since then, I'm like, yep, this is it. So it's for you, it's a combination of all things. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. And what is, if you pick all the things, what, what do you like about acting? Acting gives you that, the opportunity to play, you know, and just try to put somebody somebody else's skin you know and try to represent that and get into a story deep and tell a story and it could be either a real story or like a fiction and you can make people feel stuff you know when they watch that when they watch the movie and and i love that because that's what i what i love as an audience when i go to watch a movie i love getting you know touched and be like oh this is cool or like feel sad or like really get into the story so so like they get the opportunity to be in there and represent all that, I love it. Plus it's like, it's like, it's like when you used to be a kid and you used to play being, you know, any cartoon, it's like now you get that, but even like, so you're still a kid, but you're a grown up. It's kind of is cool. there Is there one role that, that, that suited you best until now? A rule? Yeah, uh, I mean a role. A rule, I don't know, I mean. Someone, so, 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 someone you played or someone? I think, it's hard to say, like, if, if a role suited you the best or not. I mean, for some reason they gave it to you, so you just no. gotta just gotta own it. And no, do but it, I you think know? maybe yeah. maybe because of you playing and you say, well, I, I played certain certain roles, but this role I really it, it felt really natural and I love to play the role. And well, the first thing I ever did it was like the more not natural, but it was like the more similar to myself because pretty much they wanted us to be. A little more ourselves. They wanted like they named the character as like me. It was a little based on us, and not everyone. Like some of some some they had to do like more different. But for my character, like I thought it was gonna be like kind of myself in a different situation, in a different life. So that was the one that it would be like more more Jorge in when I was that age, you know.